How to properly craft a puppy training schedule Owning a puppy always comes with more than its fair share of joys. However, it takes a whole lot of effort to ensure that they are as well behaved as they possibly can be. Routines are central to a less stressful life with a puppy, and this includes creating a schedule that includes each and everything in his daily life. The right method executed consistently day in and day out will ensure that your puppy will be obedient and on its best behavior, and here are some things that you should include in its training schedule. Words associated with routines There are a number of important words you need to teach your puppy, with no and good leading the way. These words for correction and praise should be introduced when the puppy is around 2 to 3 months old. Teaching it includes the right tone and body language, too. If your puppy doesn't learn it at this time, it can be harder to move forward with the other aspects of training. Biscuit training, a big no-no. To be clear, relying on biscuit training as the only way to train your dog is ineffective. This is because you are reliant on when your puppy is hungry enough to obey your commands so it can get the treat. While food certainly motivates a puppy, it is only one aspect of a comprehensive puppy training schedule. Prioritizing respect training. Your ultimate goal in your puppy training schedule is for your puppy to respect and acknowledge you as the leader in your house. Refusing to follow your command is a sign of disrespect, which is rooted in improperly training your puppy in the first place. Training components at 2 to 3 months. Your puppy's second and third months of life are key month in teaching essential concepts such as 1. Crate training. Here, you need to teach your puppy to view its crate as a safe and comfortable place of his own. 2. Housekeeping. Despite your puppy still being incapable of controlling its bladder at this age, housebreaking should all the more be emphasized in these months to avoid the development of peeing anywhere. Essentially, you are trying to prevent bad habits from developing through housebreaking. 3. Leadership acceptance. This age is also the prime age for the puppy to learn that it must accept you as its leader and supreme authority. Associated with this is trusting that you will do everything you can to give your puppy what it needs. These include bathing your puppy, clipping its nails, giving its vitamins, strapping on its harness or collar, and many more. 4. Gentleness training. Apart from acceptance, there is also such a thing as gentleness training. This also goes hand in hand with respect and vocabulary training, wherein you emphasize gentleness through firm corrections when your puppy is playing too roughly. 5. Household Rules As a member of the household, your puppy must know which of its behaviors are allowed and aren't. In setting up household rules, there are many aspects which will be particular to your own preferences. Training an older puppy if you have a puppy that you welcomed in your home past the age of two or three months, you are probably wondering if the training schedule and its contents will be different. The answer to that is no. Even if your puppy is six or nine months old, the training schedule and its components will stay the same. If you have an older puppy that is all over the place or is overly excited, simply look back at the training schedule and begin right at the very beginning. For older puppies, you might have to place a bigger emphasis on respect training before you can move on to other things like 1. Not pulling on its leash while out on a walk 2. Consistently approaching you when you call it 3. Stays in its dog bed when you are busy working or doing something 4. Learn to wait next to the gate or door and only going out when you give the command the skills you might expect from a puppy all go back to its ability to learn the essential words it needs recognize and follow. There are many ways to teach these words, and you need to find the one that works best with your puppy. A puppy training schedule includes a number of components that all work to shape your puppy into its best and most behaved version of itself. At the young age of 2-3 to three months, it must learn the right vocabulary words, respect and acknowledgement of you as its leader, and the necessary rules around the house it needs to follow. Older dogs will also have to learn these routines as they are basic to higher level behavioral training that comes as they age. Thanks for watching. For more dog training tips, click on the link below and get your free dog training video series.